How could an entire community, without any warning, flee to the high ground in the critical minutes before the wave struck? What was the signal they received? The prevailing theory among modern scientists was that the Moken had simply felt the earthquake and deduced the rest. But this didn't fully explain the specifics of their reaction. They didn't just feel a tremor. They knew what was coming. This is where the true unseen clue lies. Not in a radio frequency, but in the frequency of their collective memory. It was their understanding of the Laboon, the wave that eats people. The Laboon was not a legend. It was a real historical event etched into their cultural consciousness. A story that served as a blueprint for survival. The real breakthrough came years later through the relentless work of anthropologists and linguists who spent years documenting Moken oral history. They discovered that the Moken's escape was not an instinctive reaction, but a methodical, pre-planned action based on a series of observations that their culture had taught them to read. The signal they had received was not a single event, but a cascade of subtle, interconnected clues that their culture had taught them to read. The first clue was the unusual behavior of the animals. 